Hello, I'm coming to you once again from my office in the Rayburn House office building across the street from the uh, Capitol. I've just returned uh, from the floor of the House where we've had uh, a couple of votes in relation to the Interior Department Appropriations Bill. But what I wanted to speak to you about uh, today is about a hearing that uh, I participated in uh, this morning uh, in front of my Oversight and Government Reform Committee. This was a hearing about the, uh, right now, $154 million cost overrun at a new embassy that we're building in uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Now, this is a country that supposedly we're pulling out of and that we're practically going to have all of the troops out to, uh, by the end of 2016 or sometime in 2016. And yet we are spending, the State Department is spending this year $1.1 billion to uh, uh, build not only this new embassy but also to fix up some other uh, uh, parts of the compound over there and this is on top of spending that's already taken place over there by the State Department totaling almost two billion two hundred million dollars. It's unbelievable and I said at the hearing uh, uh, the easiest thing in the world it seems is to spend other people's money and I quoted uh, uh, former Pennsylvania Governor uh, Edward Rendell, uh, a Democrat, a liberal Democrat as a matter of fact, uh, but when he was mayor of Philadelphia many years ago, he testified in front of the House Ways and Means Committee and he was having a problem with uh, city unions at that time and he said government does not work because it was not designed to. He said there's no incentive for people to save money, so much of it is squandered. There's no incentive for people to work hard, so many do not. And boy how true that is uh, about, about uh, the squandering of money. I've seen far too many examples of that uh, uh, in my years uh, in Washington and I've continued to speak out against it. It's terrible. And I said at that hearing that everybody associated with all this construction over there should be embarrassed or uh, ashamed of, of what uh, has gone on. I also spoke on the floor uh, this morning and I quoted uh, David Keene. David Keene is a longtime friend of mine who for 27 years uh, was chairman of the American Conservative Union and uh, today he is the opinion editor of the Washington Times newspaper. He wrote a column a month ago in which he uh, said the, uh, the result of our wars and attempts at uh, nation building in the Middle East uh, the result is a, quote, a generation of young Americans who have never known peace, a decade in which thousands of our best have died or been maimed with little to show for their sacrifice, our enemies have multiplied, and our national debt has skyrocketed. And I said in my speech uh, on the floor this morning that once again this year we're going to be spending $82 billion dollars in what's called the Overseas Contingency Operations Account, the OCO account, which is over and above the uh, uh, ordinary Defense Department budget, $82 billion to uh, fix up Iraq and Afghanistan and do uh, some things in Pakistan and possibly some other places in the Middle East. It's just ridiculous. And yet they tell us that, that we don't have enough money to pass a full six-year highway bill or transportation bill. That six-year bill is estimated to be approximately $48 billion spread over six years and that's to take care of all the highways and bridges and transit systems throughout the United States. And I said on the floor of the House we need to stop rebuilding, uh, foolishly trying to rebuild uh, Afghanistan and Iraq and Pakistan and these other places and start rebuilding uh, the United States of America. We also need all those jobs, we need to bring those hundreds of thousands of jobs home. This business, this spending of 2.2 billion just on the State Department uh, uh, construction uh, over in Afghanistan, not counting all the salaries of all the people and all this, uh, uh, I mean, they, they said, uh, uh, one article said they were up to, I think, 1,487 desks and 819 beds and all kinds of things in these facilities. But uh, Afghanistan is a country 
who had a GDP, gross domestic product, last year of 20.3 billion with a population of a little over 30 million. That means that, that Afghan, in Afghanistan, the people have to average uh, getting by on less than $2 a day. And yet we're over there spending billions. I suppose that a lot of those people in Afghanistan just can't believe it and probably just shake their heads in amazement over how much uh, money the United States government have wasted over there in that country and, and the, the very few people, of course, that know how to manipulate it, get in there and, and uh, get filthy rich off of these projects. But I'm speaking out against this kind of thing as much as I possibly can. And I just wanted to let my constituents know a little bit uh, of what uh, I'm working on uh, here in Washington. Thank you.